hello friends welcome to video about experiments what can be done with basic electronics kit we'll be completing the experiments with the bare minimum components listed in the table for understanding the components you can go with the earlier video where we have indicated how to use the components how to know the terminals and all the difference what we have with the components is we have connected two wires to the battery and similarly two wires to the buzzer this is for uh, making sure that we can easily plug the buzzer and battery into the breadboard we'll be doing some five experiments uh, in this video if you want to know the circuit for the five experiments you can directly skip to the last part of this video where we have all the circuits listed on the end so we are using same leds 100 microfarad capacitor and three resistances of 1 kilo ohm each these resistances are of same value to avoid confusion those with uh, knowledge of electronics can uh, play with the components values we'll start with our first experiment we'll start with our basic experiment of uh, lighting an led through resistor we'll take the battery 9 volt battery positive is connected to the positive leg of the led and uh, a resistance to control the current passing through the LED if you don't use a resistance the LED will burn out for understanding the basic operation of breadboard you can refer to the earlier video we will connect the positive and negative of battery on uh, separate vertical lines on the breadboard We'll take the LED, observe positive terminal of the LED and connect it to the positive of battery. Positive leg of the LED and battery should be on the same line. We'll take a resistance starting from the negative of LED leg. Okay, sorry, I had a positive not connected properly to the positive. Now it's perfect take the resistance and uh, make sure that you are connecting from the negative of leg LED's leg to the negative of uh, battery so we have LED glowing observe carefully how we have connected the leads on the breadboard and the LED is glowing this is amber color LED we have different color LED's say like here we have okay and the amber color LED maybe this one is red yes this is the red LED and we have a green LED and uh, green LED is the brightest so we will continue our experiment with uh, green LED what we will do next is we will uh, try to vary the resistance across the network and understand usage of uh, resistances we have three resistances what we will do is we will add a resistance parallel to the first resistance and another resistance again parallel with the earlier two resistances what this does is the overall resistance of the network is decreased uh, by the simple equation 1 by parallel resistance is equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 more the resistances parallel resistance will decrease means equivalent resistance will be decreased with a larger extent and again as a thumb rule parallel resistance is uh, lesser than the least resistance in the network so what we'll do we'll add another resistance 
now brightness has increased we'll add the third resistance we'll have the maximum brightness what can be obtained with uh, three resistances this is the maximum brightness what we can obtain uh, when you do the experiments for yourself you will observe the brightness change uh, properly so this is the maximum brightness uh, what we can have with the parallel resistances you will see that once we start removing the resistances the brightness will decrease ok make sure that the resistances are connected properly the three legs are on same line left three and uh, right three we remove now brightness has decreased again if we remove another resistance still more decrease in the brightness so this is how we can learn the variation of brightness of LEDs because of connecting uh, resistances again with variable resistances you will have variable uh, brightness levels what we will do next is we will go with the experiment on uh, capacitor the capacitor has uh, positive and negative while charging we will connect the positive of diode uh, sorry positive of battery through a resistance to the positive of capacitor so that it will start charging and discharge happens from the capacitors positive we will take an LED for indication of uh, discharging and pass it through a resistance the charging happens in clockwise direction and in again clockwise direction discharging happens observe that current enters into the capacitor and leaves through the capacitor respectively for charging and discharging this overall network can be used for doing many interesting works one project we will be seeing in the next video Okay, we'll remove the LED. We'll add a resistance. Capacitor positive towards the positive of uh, battery negative to the negative of battery positive is the longer leg on the capacitor so this is how we are going to connect the leads of capacitor resistor and battery so now we have the capacitor charging the charging time is dependent on the RC time constant multiplication of resistance and capacitance will not go into the technical details but uh, as a simple thumb rule more the resistance more the charging time more the capacitor more the charging time we are using an LED to make sure that uh, we see how ch discharging is happening through the capacitors we have left the capacitor long enough for charging with 1 kilo ohm resistance and 100 microfarad it will have charged now we will see how it is going to discharge once we correct the LED the capacitor discharges we will have a maximum brightness of LED and then it will slowly decrease we will bring the leg of capacitor nearer to middle of the resistor means for easy connection of uh, LED This is how we are going to connect the legs positive of the LED negative of the LED positive is connected to positive of capacitor negative to the negative of capacitor we will observe that we will have a 
maximum brightness initially for some split second and it starts dis uh, dis discharging okay maximum brightness and it's decreasing slowly it's decreasing and it will go to zero after some time means now our capacitor is acting like a battery it is uh, draining its voltage through our uh, led so this brightness will decrease and uh, finally become zero after some time so this is how we can use a capacitor we will go to our next experiment where we are going to understand how to use a buzzer buzzer uh, is like a speaker which contains uh, piezoelectric material this buzzer we are going to connect it through a 9 volt battery positive of the buzzer is connected to positive of uh, battery we will have a sound effect instead of a visual effect what we had in LED because of the resistance we'll have a minimum re with uh, resistance adding we'll get uh, variant variation in the sound through buzzer maximum resistances in parallel uh, maximum buzzer sound will be hearing we'll connect the things exactly same as the led connection but we'll replace the led with uh, buzzer We'll keep uh, positive and negative of the batteries separate on different vertical lines. We'll observe the positive and negative of buzzer. Means uh, it will not make a sound when you connect negative to positive and positive to negative. Means we have to go with the polarity of buzzer. So battery is connected. Okay. What we'll do is we'll uh, just see what will happen if we connect uh, in a reverse way negative is connected to positive and positive is connected to negative we won't get a sound through the buzzer if we connect positive to positive and uh, negative to negative we'll have the buzzer making sound and this is the maximum sound because we don't have a resistance in the path this is the maximum sound the buzzer will make what we'll do is we'll uh, connect the network of resistors for that we'll separate uh, legs of buzzer and battery we'll use the resistances in this space we'll add one resistor this will provide the minimum sound we are adding one kilo ohm resistances now the sound will increase because uh, equivalent resistance is decreasing with the third resistance we will have maximum sound possible with uh, 3 1 kilo ohm parallel resistances so this is how we can uh, experiment with the buzzer if we keep uh, removing the resistances uh, sound will decrease as we can observe So maximum sound so this is how we can experiment with the basic components on uh, basic electronics kit we'll just summarize uh, the experiments what we did first one is we connected a simple uh, LED through one resistor then we understood the network of resistances then charging of capacitor and uh, discharging of capacitor and uh, using buzzer with again combination of uh, resistances so good luck